What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nivey Legend 1 2 3 and today we are here to do an unboxing of the LG Gram 16 inch. So the model that I have here is the Intel Core i7 and it comes in various forms like Intel Core i5, Intel Core i7 but I chose the i7 because it's more powerful than the i5 and on the back as we can see here it has Intel Iris XE graphics yeah this this, this uh, laptop has integrated graphics and it has 16 gigabytes of memory and then we have 512 gigabytes which are upgraded to 1 terabyte and it has Bluetooth 5.1 and it has Windows 11 home so let's see what's on the side yeah it has HDMI certain models of the LG Gram have ports which only have USB-C and that's pretty much it USB-C so in order to use all those ports you need to buy an adapter just like the MacBook Pro However, with this model, you have a lot of ports like USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, like all the ports that is important, you, you can find it on this laptop. So that's the reason why I bought this laptop. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's open this box. So we have some sort of cardboard. I think... You can give this to children and they will play with it and make it like this is looks like a rhinoceros and this one looks like something you can give to kids and they'll play with it no problem make some cardboard creations okay what is this oh this is for the warranty Okay, so we have the laptop here. We'll put this to the side. And oh, what's this? Okay, this is the user guide of the LG Gram. You can see, pretty straightforward. Not bad. I mean, who in this day and age, who doesn't know how to use a laptop? I think everybody should know how to use a laptop in this day and age. There's nothing there. And I assume this is the charger over here. Okay, so we have the power adapter. Okay, then I'll just open up the wrapper. No, the cable tire. There we go and I'll open the actual power adapter open the cable and tire yes I invented a new word cable and tire <laughs> yes come on open Okay, so we have opened the power adapter. We have taken the power adapter out of the plastic case. Now we're going to open the laptop. Let me just clean up first. Okay, let's take out the laptop from the packaging. So it should come out like this. Okay. It's the protective layer. Let's open this. Oh, it looks very nice. As you can see. This is a 16 inch panel. It's Intel Evo i5. No, i7. It's the enhanced version of the Intel Core i7. We'll peel this off. Oh, look how shiny this is. See? Gram. As you can see, this is the port side mentioned called HDMI. And got two USB 3.0 and a micro SD card reader. And it's pretty lightweight. I'll say it's even more lightweight than the SUS and the 
MacBook Pro. Oh, very lightweight. That's why, no wonder. This is called an LG Gram. Now I know why this laptop is called an LG Gram. Because when you try to hold it like this, it feels like you're holding nothing. Hence the name Gram. Oh, very smart. Very smart marketing. Okay, let's get this laptop charged up and we'll set this up. Okay, let's turn on this laptop and set it up. So as you might notice, there's something different. Uh, I got a new desk. It's, a, you guessed it, a Secret Lab Magnus Pro desk. And it has cool RGB lights going on there, which is very cool. It's aesthetics. Anyway, let's set this up. Let's turn on the laptop using this power button. The laptop is lighting up the keys. Just a moment. And we should see the Windows 11 boot animation soon. So as you saw the... There we go, we are in Windows 11 setup. And as I was saying, and just now when I turned on this laptop, the keys, the backlit keys. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. So I was saying, uh, when I turned on this laptop, the back, the the backlit keys they turned on. Which I, didn't, which I didn't experience that in the ASUS, so that's something cool. Anyway, let's get this setup going. So, English. See. Yes, it's US. No. Okay, so we'll have to connect this to the Wi Fi. Don't see my password. Okay, I've typed in my password. It's verifying and connecting. Connected, secured. Good. So, next. Okay, it's checking for updates. Please review the license agreement. Accept. Let me name my device first. Okay, so I've given it a name Nivet LG Grand. Okay, there's an option to skip for now. It's probably going to say something like desktop lpg ac something like that okay unlock your microsoft experience uh, as i was saying remember the previous setup i did it says that you can name your device so i didn't see there was an option there skip for now so if i when i press that it said it's going to set the name the name of the laptop to laptop pds5 or something some weird name anyway let me just sign in to my microsoft account okay let me sign in okay this is something i've not seen before so it says select a device to restore from your settings onedrive files and frequently used apps on microsoft store are synced to this device so we have my old laptop here this is the ASUS and this is the gaming PC. So I'm just going to say restore from laptop, from the ASUS laptop. Let's skip for now. I have to create a pin. Okay.
so far the screen looks very nice uh, it's more clear and it has more clarity they can see things more better uh, next basically what I'm trying to say is this screen is very nice or you can just press skip okay so use your phone from your PC oh I okay I, I think I know what this is this is for the link to PC link to phone the kind of application so so I mean you can just press skip if you don't want to do that I mean some so like I was saying some uh, setup have skip options but some setup don't have skip options like Wi-Fi last time Windows 10 doesn't require any Wi-Fi to set up the device but now Windows 11 but now Windows 11 wants internet access but for people who don't have internet access it will be very difficult for them if they have windows 11 so this means that they cannot set up their laptop or device unless they have internet but if they have windows 10 they can just do like what i'm doing pressing skip Step. this windows 11 is set up is pretty straightforward I mean it's better than Windows 10 that's for sure okay there we go just a moment hi getting things ready for you this might take a few minutes do not turn off your PC so this might take a few minutes uh, so once the setup is done I will uh, come back to you guys and we'll explore the wonders of this laptop okay so looks like this setup process might take a while so i'll catch you guys later when this process finishes almost there okay as you can see here we are at the desktop of the laptop and as you can see here this is the lg gram default wallpaper and you can and as you can see it looks really nice and with the dot over there and the gram emboldened on the screen like you have to be in person to see this in person it looks really nice the clarity of the screen is excellent i mean it's an ips screen after all and as you can see start menus there ms microsoft edge confirm and continue like I like everything that I, that I know from the ASUS has been transferred to the LG Gram, so I can just continue my work where it's left off from the ASUS. I can continue this on here. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. Restore point, like like you know OneDrive, they back up the data in the cloud from the ASUS, then they transfer onto this PC through cloud which I think is a really good feature I didn't even know this existed you know so thanks to Microsoft for making that feature and as you can see it looks really nice uh, let me turn on the the keyboard backlight if I could just find it okay there we go keyboard backlight high as you can see the keyboard backlight looks really nice which I can see properly if I'm working at night I can see it properly because of the illuminated keys and as you can see this is for the brightness this is for the locking the touchpad if you don't want to use this for airplane mode this is for a projection this is for the wireless projection so controlling the sound and for taking a screenshot this is the power button 
and here's the classic windows button so i guess that's it okay that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe to my youtube channel comment on how should i improve my video below and i'll see you guys in the next video